for the James Sound Distributors Workshop. Today's project is reinforcing a kite board using vacuum bagging techniques. We've already prepped the board by lightly sanding it to clean off any dust, dirt, and wax. Let's take a look! Today we went with a 10 ounce cloth, and we also chose to use 2 inch tape for extra support for the rails. Now mix your resin and hardener. Pour a fair amount onto the tape. Use a spreader for a consistent and even saturation. Apply the tape to the rails, starting from one end of the board, working to the other end, to minimize air bubbles. Time for the cloth. Pour a good amount and spread evenly, ensuring an even and total saturation. Place the saturated cloth onto the board. Time for the release fabric. Release fabric is a tough, finely woven nylon fabric, treated with a release agent and used to separate the absorber breather and vacuum bag from the laminate. Next, apply the breather fabric, which is a lightweight polyester blanket that provides excellent air passage within the vacuum envelope and it absorbs excess epoxy. Last is the bagging film. This film has a tough, stretchable nylon construction that conforms to virtually any shape. Place the board in the center of the bag and bunch up the film around the fins to allow a tight fit around the fin's base. Wrap a small amount of breather fabric around the suction tube to prevent the film from being sucked up against the hole stopping suction. Seal the bag completely and turn on the vacuum. Allow the vacuum to run until the epoxy has completely hardened. Once cured, remove the film, breather, and release fabric. Lightly sand sharp edges and it's ready for the beach. Now that our kite board has been reinforced, it'll be more durable in the water. Stay tuned to JDTV for more project videos and how-tos. And don't forget to visit us on the web at jamestowndistributors.com.